What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about three things that would make Modern Warfare 2 a lot better of a game in my opinion. To me the game is a bit of a step back in some directions uh, for some of the things that Infinity Ward has decided to change up. Does this mean that these will stay or will they change them? Who knows? Uh, of course we'll be playing this game most likely for the next two years so it's going to be interesting to see how they decide to change things up. I think Overall, the game has kind of received a, I guess you would almost say, lukewarm kind of reception. Some people seem to like it, some people don't. I think in ways it reminds me of older Call of Duty games, like your Modern Warfare, your original Modern Warfare 2, your Modern Warfare 3, your Call of Duty Ghost. But at the same time, some of the issues that were in Modern Warfare 2019, some of the things that really kind of set the franchise back, in my opinion, are back in uh, the, the new Modern Warfare 2. So let's go ahead and talk about the first thing. And that's going to be just kind of visually. Visually, the game is what we always expect from Infinity Ward. And that's kind of those washed out colors, in my opinion. It's hard to see players at distances. We don't have name tags over their head for whatever reason. So when you actually target an enemy, it's hard to track them. There's no nameplate, especially at longer ranges. And also, there's no dots on the minimap. Now, I don't really have a massive issue with that. I, it, I'm not just really upset about it. I don't really hate it. I don't really like it. I think it would probably be better just to put the red dots back on the minimap when firing a weapon that's unsilenced because that's how Call of Duty has been for a really long time. A lot of people didn't like that addition in Modern Warfare 2019. And I think visually the game could, you know, use some changes. Like I said, those red dots on the minimap. Also, you could use, like I said, the player's names above their head because it is really hard to track players at a distance. And the one thing that really annoys me is sometimes there will be a teammate between you and an enemy. You'll be ADSing, looking in the direction of that enemy, and you will actually see your teammate's head, you know, it's either past them or, you know, in front of them, their head will kind of pop up and go across the screen and it will show their nameplate. And that will sometimes throw you off of knowing there's an enemy there because it looks like the enemy you're looking at actually has a nameplate above their head and it's one of your friendly teammates. And that is not always the case. So I think the addition of, the red dots back on the minimap, a lot of people would like that. I think visually the game needs to be a little bit better so you can kind of figure out, distinguish enemy players, uh, you know, from surround their surroundings or distinguish enemy players with having by having a nameplate above their head. Another thing that a lot of people are kind of on the fence about right now is the time to kill. Personally, I have not done any kind of statistic gathering to see if it's statistically faster than, you know, Modern Warfare 2019. But personally, to me, it feels like the game kills a lot faster in ways than Modern Warfare 2019. I think it has something to do with the headshot multiplier. It seems like if you get a headshot in on an enemy, you can pretty much destroy them very quickly. I mean, even some of the sidearms in the game kill better, in my opinion, than some primaries have in past Call of Duty games. So I think the time to kill needs to be tweaked just a bit. If it is like one bullet or maybe two bullets at the most for most of these weapons, I think that time to kill will be more on par with Modern Warfare 2019, which in my opinion was really quick compared to what we have seen over the last four or five years. I think Modern Warfare 2019 probably has had the, one of the faster time to kills until now over the last several titles. And last but not least, I'd like to talk about audio. I know this is a big kind of topic in the community. Some people think there should be dead silence. Some people say there shouldn't be dead silence in the game. But my issue right now is Footsteps are so loud, even here in week two of the beta, when they were supposed to be, you know, kind of changed. And Activision said they, Activision and Infinity Ward said they did some work on that and some different tweets out from both of them on Twitter. And it still seems that footsteps are extremely loud. And with no dead silence whatsoever, it's really easy to hear enemies. It makes some players, you know, kind of just crouch walk everywhere. It makes some players just pretty much wait on you when they hear you coming. It's kind of disappointing if you play Search and Destroy. It's not very enjoyable because everyone's just sitting in a corner, just kind of, you know, waiting to hear someone's footsteps. I think it's going to be an issue in, you know, just regular, you know, multiplayer. I think it will be an issue in competitive play. So I, there needs to be something done to where either they add this dead silence to the game or pretty much just completely get rid of footstep sounds altogether to where you only can hear people really close to you. Then you're going to have the issue if you do that with players being able to walk right up on you and shoot you in the back. So really probably need to add some type of dead silence in permanently. I don't know how they will do that because it would probably be an ultimate perk. Then you're just going to not, you're not going to have it later in the game anyway. So 
Overall, I think the, the audio in the game for footstep sounds could be adjusted or there could be something done. So leave me a comment with all your thoughts. Let me know what you'd like to see change with Modern Warfare 2 to make it a better game. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.